and welcome to Championship Season Mode. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just went there. So, uh, third round, China. Let's get into it. Also, it is my birthday, so this is recorded on my birthday. So yeah, one point, one point, rather behind battle in the Drivers Championship. So let's go, and I will do it in my usual format. So then, this is the practice result. I'm actually Fuck up Crafty! I'm actually very very pleased with that there. Cause China, as you probably know, I hate that track. But, but it seems very enjoyable on this game for some reason I, I noticed in the race. I actually really did like this race. It was really good. So, that is practice. Let's get into qualifying. Good afternoon here in Shanghai as the cars are preparing to go out on track to begin qualifying for the Chinese Grand Prix. One of the big changes on this year's grid is Fernando Alonso, who's left Ferrari and is now back with McLaren. Many people would never have thought Fernando would go back to McLaren after the volatile year he spent there in 2007. But back he is, and he'll be wanting to make the most of their renewed partnership with Honda. So now coming to the end of this lap, it is going to be a 36-9, I think that is, 36-9, that is pretty good, on a track that I don't hate, don't like, but this game, it really, it is really nice to drive, I don't know why, but whenever you do drive this track, you will find out too, I said shut the fuck up, <coughs> so three tenths is the gap between me and Hamilton. Yes. What? What a qualifying. What a lap. So, that is qualifying. Now let's get in to the race. It's time for the Chinese Grand Prix. After yesterday's qualifying session, it's Nico Rosberg who's put himself in the driving seat for the race, securing pole position with a thumping lap when it mattered. He'll want to end this weekend on a high after yesterday's fantastic performance, but he's going to have a lot of competition. I doubt he'll be expecting an easy race, especially considering the teams around him. It was a good win last time out for Lewis Hamilton, who will still be feeling buoyant going into today's race. He knows he's got the beating of the rest of the field as long as he doesn't hit any reliability issues with his Mercedes. Well, Lewis can beat anyone on his day. His pace has been second to none at times. He just has a knack of finding those extra tenths which others can't. I'm expecting him to be particularly strong at the end of the stints today. So then, here we are in the cockpit of Rosberg on pole for the first time this season. Just selecting our strategy there. It's going to be one stop, as per usual, in this 25% race. But anyway, four, five red lights! Lights right and away we go already. Cotton, uh, going over to defend from Hamilton in the turn one. But <coughs> we keep the lead in the turn one. So now we have the lead. 
can we keep it? Going quite cautious into turn one. But turn one is actually very, very, very nice to drive on this game. I normally hated it on other games, but in this game it is very nice to drive. I don't know if that's just me or if that's other people, but for me, I found it very, very easy to drive. Had the driver glitch there, where the names pop up. But oh, Hamilton! Hamilton, he's going down there inside. There he is there. We give him a slight tap in the rear and we send him out. Words didn't really mean to do that there. Now we're watching a replay from onboard Hamilton, and yeah, totally my fault. I did slow down for him, and then he just gets collected. And the Force India smashes in this front wing and wrecks it. Oh my god, there's about five, six, seven, eight car pile up, I think. Nine car pile up. That's very unfortunate for Hamilton. Now I'm just waiting for him. You can see we're going off just. And then I just had enough waiting, waited for too long. So now we have to get past Ricciardo. Dive it down his inside. Easy enough move. And so now we are riding on board with Sebastian Vettel. On the end of lap 2, start of lap 3 almost. And he gets a puncher! He gets a puncher! The championship leader has got a puncher! This is dr drama! Highest drama in the. Chinese Grand Prix and now we are on board with Raikkonen now Raikkonen is just going so so slowly in the turn one what Raikkonen what are you doing what are you doing there's us going past him what are you doing Raikkonen there's Ricciardo going past him side by side with him what are you doing Raikkonen it looks like you're trying to find somewhere over there to turn into it look just going straight and then signs or someone there signs are stopping what are you doing Raikkonen just get off the track so now, lap 2, this is us overtaking Vettel and us overtaking Raikkonen as well. And uh, we do set the fastest lap of the race in doing so as well. So there is Raikkonen going slowly. We just go straight around the outside as he's going so slowly you could park a bus. So now skipping on to lap 5, start lap 6. I'm not start of lap 6. We're coming in for our pit stop on lap 6, sorry. Yes, is what I meant to say. So, uh, yeah, the replay camera. Hope you hope you like that there. Because I do. Uh, so, switching on to the prime tires now. Two points on second pit stop, I think. Because that's what I remember in the race. 2.6, I think. And the pit lane is about 20... 20.6 seconds so now rejoining we rejoin in 10th place that's quite good because we've made a pit stop and we're still in the points that's good so and uh, now end of lap 6 start of lap 7 we're in the 9th as a few others 6th 5th as a few others make their pit stop yes so now lap 7 Perez pits ahead of us start of lap 8 we get the DRS off him. There's Kvyat in the pits for stopping. And that is Bottas you just saw out ahead of us. There is Bottas sir. So the undercut did not work. I tried the undercut. It did not work. <coughs> Can we get him though? On he's on cold tires. We are on warm tires. Here we go for the move. In the slipstream. Now we're riding on board with Bottas. And we just dive it down his inside, no contact involved, he saw us coming, left the door open, and thank you very much, Bottas. So now, back with us now, you can see the move, and now, we run wide, we run wide, and we run wide again, and Bottas gets past us for, I don't know, uh, for first on lap 10, so now, breaking now, exactly, almost exactly the same move, the I did about a lap ago and yes lap down so now this is a penultimate lap so yeah easy move so uh, now Bottas is getting us on the penultimate lap I think or the final lap no this is the final lap sorry final lap so we run wide there Bottas gets past us and now uh, two corners later we dive it up his inside here 
There is no contact involved. We both leave each other just enough space to get through. Now we're battling in the turn nine. Turn I don't know. Whoa! Bodas gets a huge oversteer. And now we are riding on board with ourselves to the finish. We're in rich. We just switched down to standard. Can't Bodas, who is almost seven tenths, I think. Can't see that on my tiny Sony Vegas preview monitor. Uh, behind us, can he get us in the state? We switched down in the standard because we're on optimal fuel. Because we have been running rich most of this race to catch Bottas from the huge gap that it was. So Bottas is gaining, 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 gaining. I need to watch the braking zone. Brake nice and early, 125 meters before the corner. Clip the apex. Nice. Get a good exit and I don't know if Bottas will get us or not. Well, we get slightly... Here comes Bottas, here comes Bottas. No, he's not going to get us. So, second victory of the season. And surely we lead the cons uh, not constructors. Surely we lead the Drivers' World Championship. So now, podium celebrations. I will leave you with them and I will see you on the other side. Thank you, uh, thank you Crofty, yes. Hamilton got a penalty and finished in 12th, that was a good com comeback by him. That was a... That was good. Yeah. Oh, please shut the fuck up. Yeah, so, we win. Jansen Button finished last. And here is the Drivers' World Championship, we lead it. Over 12 points over Sebastian Vettel. And here's the Constructors World Championship. We are leading the Constructors World Championship. As you can see there. 85. 10 points over Ferrari. So now. Thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, until my next video. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.